Dear viewer, I bet you were thinking, oh great, this is another documentary for charity that is supposed to make me donate money. Well yeah, you got me there. But before you make any other assumptions, I want to tell you something. I am not a professional documentary maker who is being paid to bring tears to your eyes. No, that's not me. I'm just a guy with a camera. Thank you, and please enjoy. In the summer of 2011, six students from Footridge Prep visited Nicaragua for three weeks. We spent our time touring the country, learning about the culture, and enjoying what Nicaragua had to offer. But this is not about our story. This is a story about a four-year-old girl named Adriana. This is Adriana Melania Molina. She lives with her single mother and two brothers on a plot of land next to a highway. We visited Adriana's family at their home and did an interview with them about her circumstances. Cuando usted va al hospital, ¿quién, quién cuida a los niños? Mi cuñada o una hija de ella. Eh, bueno, hablemos acerca de, de la condición de la niña, ¿verdad? ¿Qué tiene la niña? La niña tiene cáncer. A ella se le descubrió que tenía tumores cancerosos. Tumores cancerosos. La enfermedad de ella se llama linfoma no Hawking. ¿Y qué, qué han dicho acerca de...? de <coughs> Dice de el doctor que hay posibilidades que ella viva, de que ella viva. Siempre y cuando que ella pase proceso de su tratamiento. Eh, hace poco que estuvimos allá en la mascota se puso mal. No esperábamos que se pusiera así. Pero estando ahí casi se me muere. Yo quiero unos medicamentos y se puso, se puso mal. Yo la tenía chineada y cuando yo la miré yo estaba bien mal. Pero después el doctor, como el doctor iba entrando a la sala, entonces el doctor corrió a ponerle oxígeno, a ponerle tratamiento. Entonces, entonces la niña volvió y ya después quedó. Y es normal, pues. Se calmó y todo, el doctor estaba pendiente. Y me dijo, pues, que sí. Ya eran dos veces la que se iba poniendo mal. Que esperamos, pues, que las próximas. La próxima quimio, pues, pase, si Dios quiere, pase bien. Pero, o sea, nosotros no esperábamos eso. Adriana must go to La Mascota Hospital every two weeks for consultation and treatment. She and her mother leave their house at 5 a.m. in order to make the consultation at 8 a.m. Normally, she would take two buses and a taxi to La Mascota, but today, she took the trip with us instead. Here are some numbers to think about. The cost of transportation to the hospital is $50. The cost to support a family with food is $30. The cure rate of leukemia at La Mascota Hospital is 80%. The number of pediatric cancer hospitals in Nicaragua is one. The cost of treatment at La Mascota is $0. That's right. The families do not have to pay a single penny for treatment. So what's the problem? The problem is getting them to the hospital. $50 does more than provide transportation and sustenance for a month. $50 saves a child's life. $50 keeps a family together. And most importantly, $50 gives hope. The thing is that Adriana's story is not over. She is still fighting leukemia, as so are 71 other patients at La Mascota Hospital. A World of One Zone is currently supporting five of those 71 families, but we need your help now. They need your help now. So you might be asking yourself, why should I help? Or why is a World of One Zone different from any other organization? Well, let me tell you why. There are over 1.5 million nonprofit organizations in the United States. We are the only one in the entire country helping the families of La Mascota Hospital. 
the only one out of 1.5 million.